Now I'd like to talk about two different ways to install your operating system on the Raspberry Pi, Noobs and Berry Boot. Um, both ways are, are pretty straightforward and, and simple to do. Uh, there are pros and cons uh, for each one of them. And we'll just go through those so you can pick the best, uh, the best way to install your operating system for the project that, that you have in mind. First of all, Noobs. Um, some of the good things about Noobs. Um, you're going to have one operating system, so it's simpler. Um, it's also the standard uh, way of installing, uh, supported by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Um, it's simple, straightforward. Um, all the configuration files are in the expected directories, so if you need to change something later on or something's not... Uh, behaving the way you expect it to, uh, you can do a search and find where those those configuration files are and you'll be able to go right to them if you install with noobs. Um, and if you don't want to go through all the steps that, that need to be done in order to install uh, with noobs, such as uh, downloading the SD card formatter, um, things like that, you can buy a, a noobs SD card um, already pre-installed. You just pop it into your Raspberry Pi and, and you're ready to go. As far as uh, cons, there's really only one. And the one is uh, that you're stuck with one operating system. Um, uh, Berry Boot, on the other hand, um, you can have basically set up a multi-boot Raspberry Pi, which is, is kind of nice if you're working on multiple projects. Um, you can boot into different operating systems uh, from the same SD card. Um, and, and also, optionally, you can use a, a flash drive. Uh, Noobs will let you do that as well, um, right from the setup. Um, so you can have multiple projects at one time. Uh, you don't have to swap out SD cards uh, to do different things. Um, and just like noobs, it's, it's pretty easy, easy to install and set up. Uh, another nice thing about Berry boot is there's a built in, uh, backup functionality. So you can back up each one of your OSs that you have installed, um, either pre configured or after you've configured it, you can, uh, you can have various stages of backup so that if you break something, you can always go back to a previous backup. Some of the cons of Berry Boot. Um, it uses some non-standard directories because it, it shares configuration files between your uh, operating system. So it copies some of the config files at boot up time and they're shared by your, your OS is so one config may not work for another one or may not be what you want so uh, that that's one of the downsides 